That would be so, so delicious, especially yeah. with like the garlic and like the little savory notes happening here. That would be really good. I did dude. it. Did you get it? I did get it. I mean, it fell out, but that was good, man. Let's try it sometime, dude. Okay, a goal is to make it through this entire video without saying the word Grindo instead of Gindos hot sauce. We've done this company before. This is the second <laughs> time we've done it. <laughs> did we say Grindo? The we said like time? the whole video. Like I think we made like a mention of it like one time. Like oh, it's Gindo, not Grindo, and then we just called it Grindo the entire time. Gindo and does not sound good. Because you, we made the joke like the, like a Harry Potter like Gryffindor joke. Like, we've done it. It's we've funny. gone through the we've gone through the gamut. What's Today, we're going to be trying three sauces from Gindo's, not Grindo's. And we really enjoyed the sauces last time. They were like super garlic forward, uh, like super garlicky, yeah. just awesome. And it broke my heart because I went to go buy some and it was I could not get that sauce. I still don't think you can, but we, you have three more choice, chances chances here. I have three more chances to get heartbroken. I know, right? So we got we got Gindo's Garlic Bread Farm, we got Georgian Fire. I don't know what any of these sauces are, by the way, so if they're like way too hot, I'm sorry in advance. But I don't think we're going to go that orange, way. which is not my... Sauce color. You like red sauces, I know. You I like, like, well, like, I like deeper orange. These aren't orange enough for you? No, they look like fruity orange. I'm saying, like, if I was going to judge a book by its cover, which you shouldn't. Porcelain Music. Wow. And Manzano's Crime Scene. There's a small batch limited reason. I'm going to say this is the hottest. Well, I like, it should be. I like that name. Uh, okay, where do you want to start? Without knowing any of the ingredients at all. This one. Okay, got it. Uh, I'm gonna, the crime scene sounds the hottest. We're gonna do that last. Georgia Fire sounds maybe the hottest, but we're gonna do it second, and we're going to do Porcelain Music, which first. will be the actual hottest. Probably robust and earthy with a hint of smoke and a medium spice finish. I like that. They say uh, sourdough bread, mascarpone, baked potato, carbonara, pancetta, steamed clams, pork, and hummus. That's what? That that's in there? Yeah. No. 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 That's the recommendations to eat it oh, on. And okay. I was like, I, Whoa, what? I like their attention to detail when it comes to what you can eat it with because normally people are like, yeah, you go to tacos. I'm very, like, yeah. I'm very, um, open minded. To wear not, no, 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 no. Um, uh, I, I do that. What's the word I'm looking for? I say that a lot. What you I'm saying are is, guilty. There it is. I'm guilty of that. Yeah. But you know, I'm Come not going to be like, crime scene, right? I'm not going to be like, you know what? This is going to be really good with Mars Capone. Like, I'm not really not going to make mm -hmm. that call. But I'm glad they made that recommendation. Yeah. Anyways, ingredients are. Uh, yellow bell peppers, distilled vinegar, water, and then there's uh, there's a highlight in yellow, which is what the uh, Garlic Breath Farm, I'm assuming, um, added to it. So Garlic Breath Farm Organic Porcelain Music Garlic. So the type of garlic is porcelain music. That's amazing. That's a fascinating. I love Por this. Porcelain Music should be like the name of a famous book. I, yeah, I love like this. Or like a movie? Like which favorite yeah, movie? Por porcelain 50s. Music. Like I love that. Yeah, that too. Uh, habanero pepper, uh, alderwood smoked salt, organic cane sugar, la bien salt, ground peppercorn, xanthan gum, chipotle powder, olive oil, and oregano. This is going to be amazing. I love olive sounds, oil and hot sauce. Yeah, sounds two, like two interesting. Different, two different kinds of salts. I remember like last time there was like a sauce that had three different kinds of salt in it. An Angorian smoked salt. It's, not, it's close enough. God, that smells today. good. I've had a lot of sauces recently that are just like crushable that are just like oh. sitting on my desk to like they're gonna be gone immediately. Oh wait, what's the what's the what? There's a very distinct ingredient in here that like I'm when you say what it is that it smells, you're gonna I'm gonna feel dumb because I knew that. I mean yellow bell pepper is what I'm smelling. No. I, I smell garlic remember. and yellow bell pepper. Maybe uh, habanero is like a little bit of fruitiness. Yeah, I mean it's definitely garlic, but I don't know. Alright, cheers man. Go, see what happens. <laughs> that olive oil, man. I it's love olive smooth. oil in sauces. So smooth. It's got that emulsion, like that is like creamy, like texture to it. That is man. like that would be the best light salad dressing ever. It would be. This yeah. would be a great. This would be a great salad dressing. We said that last Maybe time. Maybe that's what it reminds me of. We said it's that the, well, the gar there's like a huge amount of garlic in like olive oil, like yeah. garlic and olive oil. That like aroma. I it can just smells that. like an Italian out Italian dressing. It does kind of. That's what it smells like. But there's not enough vinegar. I'm not getting enough vinegar hit for it to it's be like smoother. that true Italian yeah. like dressing hit. With the consistency of like an oil and vinegar type dressing. Because uh, I go to that route a lot. So they're saying like, okay, baked potato, pork, hummus. This would be so good with hummus. Um, it's like oh. take this and you put it in the middle of hummus and like use a little bit. Oh my God. Yeah, it would be so good. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was about to say, or hummus would be good with that. Yeah. But you said it the correct way. Yes. Um, they're saying it's a medium sauce. Absolutely. Um, Huge garlic hit. I'm actually getting a good flavor of the habaneros. You like, say it's medium? I say it's a medium sauce. What do you say? I didn't taste any heat. Okay. Okay, you, I, I, okay then you're saying it's more mild? Oh, yeah. I, my sure. my taste buds are messed up when it comes to things like that. Maybe. I didn't taste any heat. I, 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 I also I just got, ate I got two a, Carolina Reaper pretzels, which are still in my mouth. 
I had a little bit of habanero like flavor, and so I'm gonna no. say that's like a medium for most people. Um, I just okay. I just assumed there was not supposed to be heat in it. No, there's heat. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, out of uh, zero to ten. Well, I did less of you too. Uh, hold on. One, three, two, one, two. I'm saying that's a two, man. Oh, weird. One is the flavor of heat, which you got. I got a little bit more than that. It is April, but we're not fooling you. That was I got well a I got a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Um, Maybe you just got the right habanero piece in there. Maybe, man. Okay. So this is Georgian fire. I'm assuming Georgian fire is also a different type of garlic. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's probably hot. So they're saying hot. pork tenderloin, veggie or beef burgers, roasted chicken, panzanella salad, brie or goat cheese. I love this. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so ingredients are yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, distilled vinegar, water, Vidalia onion, fresh Georgia peaches, mango juice, garlic breath farm, organic hard neck Georgian fire garlic, peach preserves, uh, organic cane sugar, Himalayan salt, la, la baleen salt, xanthan gum, and a four peppercorn blend. This is going to challenge Andy Schrock because he normally doesn't go for the sweet sauces, and this is yeah. like, this is really there's a lot of peach and mango in there. This is really sweeter for him, but there's that garlic in there, and a lot of times cancels it out. It like it's weird. It goes like savory when it should go sweet, mm -hmm. and numbs it a little bit. Yeah, we'll see, man. I didn't know there was garlic this many types of garlic. Like garlic Ford sauces Maybe are like you need my favorite to thing. To find in the world. out what their name means. Um. I know, right? It's a it's a hybrid of two things. I know, maybe, right? Maybe I do. I, don't know. I think it's more, it, it's more, it smells more savory. It doesn't smell as sweet as you'd think. It could be sweeter though. The consistency. Read sweet. Read sweet. Yeah, this is a very like. It does. Got thin. A little... Yeah, look how. Look how sticky this looks. Like right now, I'm thinking like, I see, I see this stuff all the time. When any, any sauce that looks like this, I'm like trip. But you know, but they're saying like pork tenderloin. I would say that pork tenderloin for sure. Roasted chicken, brie, goat cheese. If it's like got that that Dude. sweetness, absolutely. Yeah, that, it, that right there tells sauces me. Sauces are a thing. I agree. That right there tells me that it's going to be sweet. All right. Cheers. It doesn't smell sweet. It doesn't. It's got some sweetness. It's sweet. Mm. The heat's still really low, but it, it's all, it was weird. Mm. It's, maybe it'll come. Maybe you know I haven't given it a chance, but it the first taste. Gets you ready to taste some actual stinging heat, and it just doesn't come. Dude, I am getting the heat. You're like immune to habaneros. Maybe, or my, something. maybe my tongue's messed up today, but because that's where habaneros would, would really hit you. Yeah, I've yeah had, I don't get much. I've had a lot of hot things today too. <laughs> I can taste a hint of heat more in this. That's for sure. Okay. Um, all right. So sweetness for sure from the bell peppers, the Vidalia onion. Like I'm getting that sweetness for sure. I'm getting Gosh, like the mango and the hop. I'm getting the mango puree. Like, but it's very subtle. Like it's, it's more like it's not overbearing. No, not overbearing at all. I get like some of the garlic. It's weird. It's like a double-edged sword sauce. Like, yeah. I get like savory and sweet notes from it simultaneously. Um, not overly garlicky, but like the garlic is definitely there. But with just judging on their their past ones and the ingredients in that, I would I would have expected more garlic. Agreed. Um, Agreed. The heat is definitely like there's noticeable that there's heat. Like my tongue is like like oh okay you're hanging out like, but I don't recognize it. Really? I'm yeah, like if that makes sense. Like I barely recognize that it's there. Okay, so you're gonna say it's a one, and so I'm gonna um, still say it's a two. Yeah, I don't. So you're you're still you're lower than me currently. Um, but their recommendation for brie and goat cheese with this, I think, is just like absolutely amazing. Gosh, like dude. that would be so so delicious, especially yeah. with, like the garlic and like the little savory notes happening here. Starbucks has like a cheese wow. box. Yeah. Um, and I usually get the, the egg and cheese box just for like protein, boiled mm -hmm. eggs. Sure. But I got, they only had the cheese box, so I got it. And there's, I didn't, I didn't actually read what the cheese was, but it was like a soft goat cheese type situation. Mm -hmm. It was super good I from Starbucks, you. and I was like, whoa! I believe you. Yeah, it's good. Um, I put that on it. This one says spicy, so it's gonna be hotter. Oh, there's your. What's the other one say? Medium. Oh, it says medium. Yeah, I didn't. I, I intentionally like, like I didn't it. look that yeah. hard at them. Um, okay, this is we, an enticing twist on our annual crime scene sauce. Crazy. This year's batch was created to showcase the sweet and spicy flavor of the Manzano pepper. I'm not really super familiar with this pepper. I know I've had it before. Um, <laughs> it's named after an Italian family. I know, right? Um, Manzano's crime scene. Okay, ingredients are orange bell peppers, Manzano peppers, number two. So the hot pepper, I don't know the scope scale of this pepper, but it's the second ingredient. Distilled vinegar, water, peach, ghost peppers. Okay, this is going to be hot. Onion, devil's pumpkin pepper. Don't know that pepper. It's garlic. The best name for a pepper. I know, right? Gar just strip garlic. We have regular garlic in here. Green onion, Himalayan salt, alderwood smoked salt, organic cane sugar, smoked bootla peppers. What kind of bootla? Um, xanthan gum, ginger, habanero powder, and ground peppercorn. There's a bunch of peppers in here, man. Ooh. This could be warm. Well, I'm glad we got the, the hottest one last. Did you say jalapeno in there? No. 
Because it looks like jalapeno seed, doesn't it? it looks like a habanero seed to me. Does it say habanero? Really? Uh, I guess. I mean, they're kind of similar. Ghost I, I mean, ghost it. peppers. Ghost pepper seeds look the same, too. A lot, most pepper seeds look the same. Right. Yeah, now that I think about it, I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about, Andy. Shut up. I think all pepper seeds look the same. But jalapenos, I always cut it. I'm always, like, staring at jalapeno seeds because I use them way more often. Or jalapenos. Interesting. That smells... Uh, did I say smoked? Something smoked in there. Is that, did I say smoked alderwood salt or something? Alderwood smoked salt. That yeah, salt has some smokiness to it. Good nose, dude. I smell it now that you say it, but Dude, if I, I wouldn't have some, talked about smoked. It's got some smoke going on in here. Uh, Dude, those bell peppers... It smells like an Italian restaurant. Dude, those bell peppers are like the first thing I smell in all these sauces because they always lead off with bell pepper. I love orange bell peppers too. All they're, right, they're the best. They reign supreme. Spicy. Yeah, it's a good step up. It's like an equal step up from the first one to the second one to this one. A good amount of ghost pepper. I don't um, know what I would use these sauces on. Cheese. I, 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 I am intrigued to do that. The cheese and the hummus recommendations that they made are great. The pork uh, recommendation I mean, they made is fantastic. Hummus is so good. You could put you could do cereal and hummus and it would taste good. That is true. Yeah, like, <laughs> that is very true. Um, I like the I love the cheese aspect. Anytime, any place you want, you want garlic. You know, like I put mm. this on freaking pizza. Like anything yeah. that you want to be like, you know what this needs more? More garlic. So mm. if you're a garlic lover, just put anything you'd use garlic with. Yeah, I think so, those mentioned with pork with the second one, I think that'd be really good. Well, yeah, because the sweet and sticky, like the, the sweetness to it, you know, yeah, caramelization. All of them, though, just because they're like lighter, they're kind of like lighter sauces with a lot of flavor. Yeah. Which would go well with pork, just yeah. the consistency Abs of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's weird. Like, as soon as I taste the sauce, I'm like, okay, this is going to be actually hot. And then, like, you get the, like, the peach ghost pepper, like, flavor. I'm actually tasting the peach ghost, and it starts coming, but it never, ever gets, like, overwhelmingly hot. Did it for you? Like it never got no, like super. I think it never got super crazy. Rating literally, I would just do one, two, two and a half, three. This is a three on yeah. my on my heat scale. Um, great sauce, savory. Um, still has a little bit of sweetness to it. Like the it's peach, probably my favorite. Uh, out of the three, you think yeah, so? Yeah, probably. I think I like the first one. The first one was good too. Definitely. The first one's probably the best. That's for me. the only one I was like weighing between. See, they're saying burritos, pizza, tacos, wings, ribeye, and enchiladas for these. Which I think are interesting, interesting um, recommendations. I mean, I get, I get the pizza and the burritos. I, I well, guess I get it again. I get it. Cereal put, and pizza. Yeah, you can put it any. You can put anything <laughs> on it. Um, yeah. Okay, so three delicious um, hot sauces from Gindos. Like, I mean, if you were a garlic connoisseur, like this is a company you should, you should really check, check out because they do some crazy stuff with garlic. And so, like at the Coke tour, not to interrupt you, I apologize. At the end of the Coke tour, you apparently have like 50 to 100 Coke flavors. Oh, really? Like, this is like, yeah, like in Atlanta. If you go to the court back when you could, yeah. I don't know if you still can. But this is like the company where, like, if you like garlic, we have 50 different types of garlic hot sauce to serve you. That's pretty true. Um, and they are all exceedingly well done. Um, yeah, quality. Yeah, so, I mean, all three of them are absolutely crushable. Like, these are going to go on my desk and they will not last in the next couple days. Because this is like the kind of thing that I'll use half a bottle per meal. And they will go away quickly. So, okay. Uh, in the description below is going to be a link to two things. It's going to be a link to Andy and I's gaming channel, Taco Game Time. Um, we are doing something I don't know because this video comes out in a very long time from now. Yeah, but, I don't know. Uh, we have a new video, we a new couple videos that just came out. You should check them out. Um, also, a link to Gindo so that if these are sauces that interest you, and they should if you are a garlic lover because they do it good, you can pick those up too. You accidentally said. Grindos. Did I say it? Only once, I think. I counted. So Dude, when you're so, editing this, when I go like that, you would just say It's it. so hard to not say Grindos. It's Gindos. Okay. Hope Gindos. you enjoyed. I'll see you guys then. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to... Oh, man. It's going to be great. Bye.